Okay, so this time we're looking at how to connect the AliExpress DMX Trio to Triac AC dimmer to our Wago 8202 PLC and how to control it over DMX from within the PLC environment. Uh, to achieve this, we're using the Wago uh, 75652 serial interface in the DMX master mode. This particular module is revision 6, but anything from revision 3 and upwards can function as a DMX master within some limitations on the number of controllable channels. I'm using this wiring diagram from the WAGO application note on DMX to connect the serial module to the DMX Trio 2 dimmer. I've terminated the DMX bus on the dimmer side only with a 100 ohm resistor. It seems that the very short bus length seems forgiving enough to get away with not terminating the bus on the PLC side. The dimmer takes a 230 volt AC on the live input and will power a regular 230 volt uh, yellow jump bulb on dimmer channel 1 in our setup. The 75652 module needs some configuration through IO check before it can be used as a DMX master. Open the module settings here and make sure the operating mode is set to DMX half duplex 250k and that continuous mode is also enabled. Write any changes to the module and then exit IO check. Next we start a new project in eCockpit and we do the normal setup for our 8202. Uh, make a note of the uh, 75652 module interface name as we're going to need that uh, later. We also need the Wago app DMX library, which contains the master function block, so we add that to the project. Start by adding the program PIU in sequential flowchart language as the main program. I'm declaring the DMX master function block uh, along with two integer values for brightness and brightness uh, increment. Next, we create a new action that we're going to use to initialize the DMX master with the serial module interface. And we also specify the DMX universe number, which is one, and the number of channels uh, to control also one in this case. If you set the blackout um, to true, all channels will remain zero. Our second action ramps the brightness up and down between zero and 255 reversing direction at uh, each end. Our function uh, DMX set channel will prime the DMX master with some global variables, uh, after which we call the uh, job method on the master, which triggers the block to send off the DMX commands to the dimmer. The speed and fluidity of the dimming action will depend on the increment you specify uh, and what cycle uh, interval you're going to run the task at. But be warned that with this dimmer, don't expect any fluid fades. So all that's left now is to hook up our sequential uh, flow chart uh, so that we can initialize the master function block. And once that's done, we enter the main loop here, which continuously changes the brightness on the uh, DMX master function block.